Hey guys, we are in this course on Google Summer of Code. We have already discussed a few things. We have decided on an open source project we're going to contribute to, which is MLPack. And we've already looked at how to get involved there. In this video, we're going to discuss about how to submit a good proposal. So without any further ado, let's get started. So every organization has its guidelines and a format for a project. We looked in the last video how MLPack has an application guide. And in that application guide, they have listed down what are the things they expect you to put in the proposal. Organizations generally have a list of project ideas. So when you write your proposal, they expect a certain set of feature ideas that you're going to implement uh, when you go, you're going to be part of their uh, GSOC summer code. So you expected to pick up one of those ideas and work on them and submit, uh, be, make them a part of your proposal. If you have already started contributing to that project before the GSOC deadline comes and you have a relationship with the mentors, you leverage that, you brainstorm the idea with the mentors. Which of these ideas would be a better fit at that point of time? What are they most excited about? Get them to review your proposal when it's done. You put in your submitted PRs in the proposal. So assuming you've already contributed to the project before, you put in your submitted PRs in the proposal. Even if you have not contributed before, just submit a few PRs and make them a part of the proposal, even if they are not accepted. Because it was your attempt and it shows that you have looked at the code, you've read a little bit of the code, you're familiar with it. You share your ideas through a visual representation. Maybe through a flowchart, through diagrams, through UML figures. So if you use any of these things, it becomes easier for the mentors to look at your proposal. It's easier for them. And a visual representation is much more effective in bringing about a decision. Establish priorities through a timeline, through weekly goals. Most of these proposals will expect you to give a week by week breakdown as to how you're going to spend your time when uh, you're part of GSOC. So establish priorities to them. Talk about unit tests and documentations. These are the things they expect you to do with great uh, diligence. So most open source projects these days use Travis CI for unit tests. You can look at what other open source projects are using or documentation and make that a part of your proposal. So these things are assuming that organization has guidelines and a format for a proposal. What if a particular project doesn't have those guidelines? Then in that case, you just look at a few projects which do have, look at what they consider important, find out the common things which most projects expect in a proposal and you put them in your proposal. Then you have the greatest chance of getting your proposal selected. So we are at the end of this course. This is all I had to speak about how to submit a good proposal. In case you have any further questions, queries, you want to drop constructive feedback, drop in comments in the comment section and I'll be happy to uh, answer your queries and work on the feedback that you give. So if you have liked this course and considering this is the second last video and the last one will be the next one. Uh, if you do like our videos, please hit like, please share our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel Heisenberg Tech in case you're interested in getting more videos from us so thank you for watching guys and see you in the next video and the last one bye stay tuned